Outside, it's a freezing Arctic wasteland, but inside, it's loud, hot, and rowdy. Welcome to the Thunderdome. We're broadcasting live from Cineapolis, Forsk, Minnesota. The fans are wearing parkas and shorts, ready for the carnage to begin. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Sniffle Thrills battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. warming up. And Bridge, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. target more often and it's first and ten <laughs> so
Second down and long. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and two. And the defense just caught. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and 10. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First down. First down and nine. Man. You think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. I would have thought you had that muscles to move like that. Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bridge. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
It's about a three-yard pickup. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Inflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. One, hot two, three. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. The quarterback cut and it sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. You want to do some better time. Second down and a lock. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast again. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and a sliver. Reception. What's that, Grant? And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Whoa. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. It's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Mad Kim. Kim on up. Get him out. Get him out. Second down and more than the QB would like. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. And he's off to the races. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. Oh, 
Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And that'll bring up second and one. And he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grab him. Hide the stash. On it. First down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. A huge gain and this offense is rolling. Mom, then that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down in a very lot. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third down and long. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll be second down and four. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And 
it's first and ten. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Second down and long. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mute. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. the football first down and it's first and ten this guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game second down and ten up the first down and it's first and ten and he held on to that one for a first down and it's first and ten run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blade. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even 
chewing on it. Third down and six. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. The defense saw that play coming a mile away and snuffed it out on fourth down. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Running like a moose. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll bring up second and one. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! Man, what a hit that was! First down and five. Just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Yeah. 
The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Caught for the first down. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. I don't even get how much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was fresh. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Man, the offense calls their first timeout. Oh, thank God. I've been sitting on this burrito for the last two hours. I gotta go. Uh, thanks, Bricks. Really appreciate that transparency. I'm out today. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought being snagged. What a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL. It looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. Third down and eight. Nice pickup for six yards. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a taco lesson hole. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Ouch! 
Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. You've got to catch that. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Bricks' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. And the defense was caught with their pants around their ankles. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. And it's first and, and the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Grim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Hey. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. And he picks up about six on the play. Or the offense, Bricks. That's that's the important part. And that'll bring up third and one. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and the punter is warming up. four-yard game. The Purple Mutant Eaters crush the opposition and are victorious today. Folks, 
This wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, there he's got it now. Yep. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.